Raven copied me. No, I got. I ordered first. A little bit of a slower start to our day, but we got breakfast. Mm -hmm. Sure. And then we both got huevos rancheros. It was really good. Now we're headed to find coffee. Go walk around. I was just thinking about we have three more full days today. Yeah. And my little feet can't handle 30,000 steps Dude. a day anyway. The last night was so. Friday, and when we got back from our tour, it was so and bustling, hustling, and bustling. Uh -huh. And we wanted to go out, but we, or I, yes. <laughs> I, like... I passed out hard. So anyway, <laughs> today's Saturday, and it's actually my birthday today. Yes, so 27. We're, we're gonna get a couple Here's different down. meals. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna go walk around, kind of on the outskirts. I don't really like, the, oh, I mean, it was cool seeing the city center, but we've seen enough. Of we've the city seen city. plenty of the city center. It's time to go experience what the uh, actual, city of Oaxaca de Juarez is all about. Um, right now we're kind of on our way out and uh, yeah let's see what let's see what we can find. We're currently just looking for coffee. There was a cafe about every 15 feet before and now we haven't walked past a single one. Well we did walk past one but it looked bougie so anyway. Beautiful day out. The sun really beats down here. We're making it into Rio, Oaxaca. It's like California, but louder. One of the coolest bikes I've seen. Kind of reminded me of mine, Jord. Yeah, that one is cool, you're right. Okay, it seems like the consensus for this area is very much so, uh, it just feels like Brooklyn. Lots of traffic, loud noises. Just shops everywhere, same thing, just kind of shops and uh, people's houses. Not a whole lot to see that's like blowing me away out here. I take that back right after I said that. Hello Kitty store. You know when stuff has like fake flowers from like Hawaii? Yeah. That's what these are. They look like fake. Yeah, they're beautiful. I've never been to Hawaii, but my grandma used to be obsessed with Hawaii. Not obsessed, but she would just travel. She would just go on a shit ton of cruises. She was ships. a local. No, <laughs> she was one no, of the South Park locals. Go, she would just travel. Oh, hey, yeah, we, got the, we got the buses. We got the bus boys. She was going down to Mexico get, to get her teeth fixed, you know, get her medicine down here, and then she go to Hawaii. She was constantly traveling, but she buy me. Look how spiky these are. The fuck? That's crazy. How you liking this uh, interesting walk? Um, There's not a whole lot out here. Yeah, I mean, I said I was done with the center, but honestly, I'm like, There's it's just a bunch of like highway and like you know, just normal city stuff, you know? Yeah, like, at least the laundry mats and. The bodegas center, and like, you know. The center has at least stuff. like some uh, architecture shit we can look at. Crossing these roads that have like three different traffic patterns. When there's no, uh, there's no like walk signals is uh, pretty daunting. We missed her, we were supposed to turn. Cause I wasn't looking at my map. Kinda ended up in the middle of nowhere, but it's cool here. I like that guy. In the in the thing with the bomb. What a beautiful street to just stumble upon. Yeah, this has been one of my favorite parts about just walking around with no destination. It's just stumbling upon crazy streets like this. Oh wow. Like this is just some random street. There's no shops on this street. It seems like just a neighborhood. It's really, really cool. I really like that. Okay. 
Something tells me that these things are to keep the heat down, keep shade. If uh, anyone's watching this from Mexico, let me know. Am I right on that one? Also, another question for any Mexican viewers. Every building, or almost every building outside the center has the rebar sticking up. I have a, a theory on why that is, and I read a theory. My theory is that like, they leave it up just in case they wanna keep building in the future. But uh, I have no idea. I read some weird rumor that was like, they don't have to pay property tax if they leave the rebar on there because then their house is not complete, but I'm honestly not buying that one as much as just uh, plans for the future. Uh, yeah, if anyone knows the answer to that, let me know, drop it in the comments. What do you think, 50s, 60s? Like 15, 60s, 16, 60s? We got our wild trinket head. That thing's cool. Oh, those earrings are so cool. I don't know how we're still discovering new stuff. We've walked around everywhere. I love walking up ancient steps. We live in uh, Oregon, where the the ancientest thing is like 1890. What, or like, what do you think? Like 1800s? Early 1800s? I don't know. When was the Oregon Trail? I don't know. We should know that. They taught us in school, but I have no idea. Jordan, go, go join them. We were told about these Oaxacan weddings. It's fucking, it's awesome. Look at them go. Person. Imagine getting divorced after that. My man's is blazing that ish. Jordan bought these. They're really neat. For They're so friends. affordable. Those were uh, for two. Oh, there's for two. Um... Yeah. There's a lot of cool art. We're we're gonna go to the bank and come back because there's a lot of cool art here. And I don't know how long this like Saturday market thing is going on, but it's really cool. Hola. 400? Ah, sí. Yeah, cool. Uh, I got this really cool street art. 400 pesos. What do you think? Very cool. cool. 400 I like pesos. It. I like it. What's that in USD? Um, 20? 20 bucks. This is the perfect place to look for gifts. Uh, don't look for gifts in the city center. Go get scammed. We found stuff that was in the city center for much cheaper at a place like this. This is a, uh, if you go to the November market and then just keep going, uh, we finally saw the police with the big old guns in the back. So that means we're in a good area for good deals. So sure. If you're into cars at all, Mexico has had the sickest cars, this old Datsun. They used to have a little Toyota like this, a 75. There was a guy that rode past with a little uh, thing, a cart. You yeah. want ice cream so damn bad. I know, I tried to yell for him and right Oh, a bazaar, George. There's a bazaar. Wow. Do we go in the bazaar? It doesn't look good. It looks kind of like a Goodwill. It looks like a Habitat for Humanity. Like it literally looks like a Goodwill or something. Yeah, what, right. what in there are we going to bring home? Yeah, true. <laughs> Just bring a whole oh, couch home. Alright, let's get out of this uh, whole shopping area. Yeah, I'm done with the shopping. I did my, I bought my... I'm looking for gifts, but every like two or three stores it's the same gifts. And it's all like super cheap, like drop shift stuff so or honestly just like mass produced here none of it's handmade it's all really cheap but oh wow well i did see a lady painting the little figurines in a booth honestly. yeah the perks of walking around 
A new place every 10 minutes. Wow, what the fuck? How have we not been here? This looks know. cool. We made it to whatever this is. Accidentally. Ah. <laughs> Whoa, this looks cool. Oaxaca is apparently just the coolest place to stumble upon uh, stuff. It's cool. We were literally just walking. We've got a cool bell up there. And uh, found this. Well, look at the, the birds. George the pigeons. We wanted to check out that church. It said no cell phones. Uh, no recording, no talking. And this lady kicked two of the uh, steeples. steeples and then kicked the door on the way out and it was so loud and there was think, no one talking. I think somebody laughed at me. It was literally dead silent and she kicked it and it's just the loudest echo I in the did whole not place. Mean to do that, but honestly. you did it twice and then kicked the I'm door on the to, way. Like, look up and be respectful. <laughs> I mean it was really cool. Yeah, it was cool. I'm gonna see if I can fucking get a rose right here. With us having nothing like this in the United States, I really, I was uh, forced to go to church growing up, but I really never understood that. Okay, ambulance. I only vaguely understood the whole like fear of God thing. It's like they teach you you're gonna go to hell no matter what, unless you uh, follow the religion and stuff like that. But if I grew up near stuff like this, I really understand like how we see there there was power behind this. Even though this is just built by man, funded by man, you know, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of power in these buildings that I can appreciate the architecture, the amount of time that goes into this, the amount of work. They put a lot of energy into this, and that energy gets reflected into the religion. And you know, it's cool. It's cool. I don't hate that it exists, but. Uh, there's wars being fought in the world all the time. All because of this, in a way. So, it's not all bad, but. It's so hard to see on the camera, but that guy's running. He's running for his life, I've been trying to catch him. Finally caught his ass. Mm -hmm. You got your ice cream. I got my ice cream from the convenience store, but whatever. And uh, nighttime has struck. We uh, left the crazy, crazy shopping mm -hmm. and uh, trying to see what this nightlife's all about. Yeah. It's. Slept last night. Yeah. Uh, there's like a thousand people in front of us. It's crazy. This man's kind of a freak for that one. If you need some cool swag or cheap gifts, this is a good place to go. And they have a free art gallery that's pretty cool. Oh, another wedding or something. Maria and Jesus. Pretty cool wedding. Oh, damn, they got the police escort. This might not be a wedding. I don't know what the hell is going on. Just got done with dinner here at this uh, Italian restaurant. Kind of funny going to Italian in Oaxaca, but we figured we'd give it a shot. We figured there's no way Italians can be bad because all the other food's been good. And uh, it was my birthday dinner, so we splurged a bit, and it was literally, after tip, only 50 USD. We literally got entree, a pizza, and, or two entrees, a pizza, and an appetizer. Only 50 bucks. In the US, that would have been like way over $100, so. Money goes a long way here when it comes to food. Even like at the nice restaurants, there's nothing that's too expensive. Go to hit. Oh, he gets it. What's up? Something nice.